Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. It is Tuesday, so yes, I have a Tech Tuesday video for you guys out here in the hangar right now, and our maintenance guys have got one of the engines opened up on one of our uh, hawkers. Thought I'd show that off to you guys a little bit. Maybe you haven't seen inside the, uh, the cowling on these before. So, let's have a look. All right, if we climb up under the uh, engine here, you can see it's wide open, and there's a whole lot of stuff under here. Most of this is called accessory gear drive, and there's a whole lot of stuff that gets turned off of the engine to make things happen. So let me show you what uh, some of this stuff is. All right, if we start, start up here on the top, we've got an oil fuel heat exchanger, basically heats the oil and cools the, uh, the fuel, I'm sorry, the other way around, heats the uh, fuel and cools the oil. If we go forward here, that's the oil tank, and you can see there's a sight gauge up there. That's how we check to see how much oil's in the engine. If we move down a little bit, this is going to be our uh, our AC alternator. It says AC generator on there, but uh, basically it's an alternator. And then over here we have a DC generator. This also acts as our starter. It's actually going to that's how we're going to drive the uh, the gearbox and come back here, and that's what's going to start the engine when we hit the button to do so. Up front, these are cooling, brings cold air in, keeps them from getting too hot. If we move back here a little bit, we've got an oil filter up here. Notice it says hand tighten only. We're not to put a wrench on that. If we move down a little bit, we got an oil pump. And moving back, they call this the uh, the tower shaft, I believe it is. And it basically, this is we've got the gear that goes up into the uh, N2 section of the engine, and that's what turns the gearbox. Or if we're starting, it goes the other way. It turns the engine to uh, to start things up. Got some vent tubes down here. We get every now and then some oil drips out of those. That's normal. Work our way around the other side here. Come up here. This is gonna be all part of the fuel control. And back here is the fuel pump. This is actually the fuel filter. That's our high pressure pump. Forces that, that uh, fuel into the engine under extremely high pressure actually. And this little guy right here, this would be our hydraulic pump tiny little thing doesn't take much I always thought they were a lot bigger so then obviously you got hydraulic lines running up in there they go into the hell hole you guys have seen those come in from the uh, from the inside but that's where it starts and this whole green colored assembly this is the gear drive that's what actually makes all the magic happen inside there it turns all of those accessories as needed So that's about it. Whole bunch of stuff inside there. And of course, inside here, that's where the engine lies. Inside this first layer is actually just the, uh, the bypass section of the engine. That's where the air goes around the core. And a great, uh, a large percentage of our thrust actually comes from that off of the fan section. I'll, I'll walk around front here and I'll show you the fan. That's the fan part of the engine. And if we walk back here, there's the front end. That's where all the hot air comes out. And you can see that the bypass section is out here. That's where all the, the air goes around. But then up in that section, that's the core where the hot air comes through. And then, of course, the thrust reverser is the tail section back there. You guys have seen us work the levers on those. So that's about it. That's the engine on the uh, on the Hawker. This is our 800 XP. They do vary just a little bit between the 800A and the 800 XP. And then, of course, the 900 XP has got a little more power to it. Uh, but yeah, they're all very similar setup on the uh, on the external uh, on the, uh, uh, the gear drive part. So they all look very close to the same thing. Of course, the Gulfstream has a few extra things on it, a few different uh, items. So maybe at some point I'll get a Gulfstream and open it up and show you what it looks like, or perhaps some of the other aircraft that we have. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, learned a little something new. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you want to hang out with us a little more. We'll see you guys on the next Tech Tuesday. See ya.